just arrived through the post is the 35mm lens that I've been waiting for. So let's go back in time now and we'll unbox this and we'll have a look and put it through its simple first paces to see how this lens behaves. Let's have a go. Well that, I've saved you the bit of trying to carve through all the plastic because this has come exceedingly well wrapped and here we have the 35mm T 2.2 lens It's got its lens case, uh, bits of paper, cleaning lens tissue, and here is the 35 millimeter lens, which looks very similar to the rest of the family. I've got the 12, the 16, the 35 here now and on this black magic I've got the 25. So let's go and put this onto the black magic and then we'll have a look and see how it performs. What I'm going to do before I do anything else, I haven't got a UV then filter for it yet, but I am going to put on my neutral density filter, with great difficulty. There we go. So we've got the ND filter on, the 35mm and let's go and try this out on the black magic and see how it performs. So I've now gone and mounted the camera a black magic on the little tripod in front of me so it's sort of a little bit more steady and you can get a better idea of how the 35mm lens is. I'm about four to five feet away from the camera and on a gloomy day in England where it's been raining most of the day and the lights are on I've got the camera on T-stop 2.2 and we're running at ISO 200 and you can see it gives a fairly good cropped image of my face it's a good sort of basic portrait lens this for someone at this sort of distance and I can see myself using this probably in some of my other videos because it's good for sort of zooming in on my face. Uh, quality well that's up to you to try and decide but on maximum aperture this doesn't appear at first glance too bad this is our first take of this lens and over the next few weeks we'll put it on the camera we'll do a little bit more and try it out and put the lens through its paces thanks for watching